So this is the strength and tone workout. Two sets of four exercises. Each exercise we're gonna do for 30 seconds with 10 seconds in between. Overall, we're gonna to aim to do two, three, or four rounds of the two sets for the whole workout. So set one, first exercise. We're gonna do a reverse lunge with an extra half movement up and down on each side. Then we're gonna move laterally side to side. We're gonna squat down and squat across with the side steps, keeping that tension onto the quads by keeping everything on the same horizontal plane. Then we're gonna come around and we're gonna do a slow down press up. So we're not gonna do many repetitions, but we're gonna keep it nice and slow. So from the top, slow down, power out. Round about a count of four. On the knees, same, one, two, three, four, then pushing out. If you want, somewhere between the two, in terms of difficulty, intensity, go down as a full press up, then put the knees down to push back out. That's gonna give you more work on the way down. We'll call the eccentric part of the movement, the lowering phase, and then we're gonna push up with an easier position off the knees. So we've got full or right down on the knees for both, or in between the two, lowering down in a full press of position, pushing up off the knees. Then, we're gonna finish with another upper body exercise, but that T-rotation plank, taking it around each side. Again, not too many repetitions, so we get a nice hold each side. So, lunge with extra half movement per step. Alternate sides, adding the tension with extra movement. Bring it round, we're going to lower it down, and then keep that position and side steps out. Down and then across. So we're sending this across, keeping that tension onto the legs by keeping in this lower position. Okay, let's take it down then, ready. So, slow, lowering, eccentric phase. Four seconds. Four, pushing out. In between, lower with the form. Then knees down, push it back out. Then back up and lower again. Or can do it just on the knees. Slowly down, power out. Up to you which variation you use, and you can change variations as you go through. Great job, reset. T rotation, plank. Up and round, little hold. Get that side working, get those obliques, and the core working well. Nice and strong, round again, other side. Not too many repetitions. Just get a nice hold each time. Just gonna hold in to finish. Great job. Second set, low body work. This time we're gonna keep the split squat position and up and down. First side, then the second side. Then we're gonna come back to Another press up variation, this time, hands closer, about three inches between the thumbs, elbows tucked in, close grip, four, all on the knees, and then, a little bit more dynamic to finish, out and up, 
squat. So first side, split squat. We're lowering in, slight lean forward, focus on this front leg, doing the work, foot nice and flat. When I say flat, as in taking the weight equally through it. Get this quad working really hard now. Nice round to the side. Let's get set. In position. Nice and stable. You're not going to be able to fully straighten the knee. That's a good thing. That's keeping the tension on the quad at the front, doing the work. No pausing from some contraction the whole time. Let's take this round. So, hands fairly close. Just a couple of inches between the thumbs if they're pointing in towards each other. And then, whew, elbows tucked in. So the chest will be even further over that hand. Then in a regular press up, fold position, or on the knees. Even if you do not on the knees, start in this top position, then bring the knees down. It's gonna have the body nice and straight. Should be a straight line. Knees, hips, shoulders, Whichever one you're doing it in. So, out and up squat, a little bit more dynamic. Finish this second set. Hopping out, lifting up. Great job, there we go. Those two sets, the strength and tone workout done. Taking it back and going round again with another one, two or three rounds, making two, three or four rounds in total for this workout.